My name's Camille Leahy, and I was treated for acute lymphoblastic leukemia at the Ottawa Hospital. On January 2020, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, from there, I was an inpatient. From there, um, I did chemo and radiation, and I did the stem cell transplant. Eight months later, unfortunately, the cancer had relapsed, and I was told that there were no other options for me. But I had remembered that a doctor had mentioned something about CAR T cell, and I had asked one of my doctors what about CAR T, and they said that there was actually a trial in Ottawa, and that it's a possibility that I would be a candidate. I'm a single mom, so it's just been myself and my daughter since she was born. So, I mean, that just made my fight all the more important. Um, I'm her only parent, so this was, I mean, my, I was fighting for my daughter, so I wasn't giving up. And knowing that CAR T was even an option for me was incredible. So CAR T cell is a type of immune therapy. It's sort of the next pillar of cancer care. And it allows us to take T cells, which are immune cells from a patient's own body, their own immune system. And we re-engineer them in the lab with this CAR on them, which is just a special way to target their specific cancer cells. And so we re-engineer those in the lab and then we give them back to the patient. And that's really what CAR T cell therapy is. It's a way to boost their immune system, specifically against a protein on their cancer cells. Those T cells, they go and find these proteins on cancer cells and they directly um, attack them and destroy those cancer cells. And in doing that, they activate the immune system even more and more of the immune cells come in and more ammunition is uh, brought in against the cancer and more of those cancer cells can be killed. I was diagnosed January 2020, um, so I haven't had a normal summer since then. I was actually walking with a cane and a walker. I was unable to walk upstairs, and this past summer, I I guess I've been to five Blue Jays games, I've done treetop trekking, I did a 5K mud girl run, um, all of them with my daughter, which is incredible. I never thought that I'd even be able to accomplish half of what I did this summer. Now, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the research at the Ottawa Hospital. Um, Dr. Kekri and her team and, and everybody involved uh, just made it possible for me to live. Um, without them, I know for a fact I wouldn't be here. So now my future, um, I mean, it looks bright. I don't know what's to come, but I'm healthy and I mean, knowing that I, I beat cancer, I, I definitely see a bright future for myself and my daughter.